Hey, welcome back, Eastern Investigations. Last time, we got down to looking in the kidnapper's hideout and figure out a bunch of things about how there's three kidnappers, but there's four costumes missing, but there's... It's crazy. Anyway, let's continue. With logic, probably. Maybe. Maybe it's in the trash. Yeah. It's in Bad Badger costume. I believe it may have been closer at hand than we thought. Hmm? What do you mean? Costume is in the trash. Why don't you say that it's wearing some very gentle paints? Hey, you're right! Let's get out of there and take a look. I suspect it. It's a Bad Badger costume. Well, minus the head. And there's a, there's a, there's a hole in the hand. L look, its hand is hurt. Hmm? Looks more like something was ripped off of it. Anything else remarkable? One of the bad badger costumes, right hand is torn up like that. Hmm, maybe it's a flesh wound for a fight with the blue badger. I see the blue badger was one ferocious beast. It's not doubt that even real badgers are bloodthirsty as that, okay? Hmm. Well, what can we deduce with the whole? Hmm. The pendant. I can look at it. Hmm. What are you, what what are you freaking out about? Yes, I know it's valuable. Okay. <laughs> it says. What do you gotta say? I was wondering, if you don't mind. Mr. Part Roger, how do you know my name? You're pretty famous, sir. I think that most people would know who you are. Famous? Me? So, absolutely, sir. You're, 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 you're always very active in the community, I hear. Why well, didn't know you're such a celebrity, Mr. Edgeworth? I feel like I've met this person before. Or just my imagination. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I can't be absolutely positive either. Hmm. Anyway... There's a hole in the hand. The only evidence I have that would... Like, fit that. Besides maybe the sword. Eh. Would be the pendant. Cause it's that... The only thing that's that shape, right? Oh, actually. Hydra has a gun. Is it attached to the costume, though? I don't know. Possibly. I'm gonna present this. Okay. I believe what we have here is an inconsistency. Hmm? Between what? Look carefully, our costume is not holding something in its right hand that it should be. Hmm. Oh, the gun! Precisely. The bad badger is always designed to always hold the gun in its right hand. However... You there, did you move the gun from this bad badger's right hand? No, I did not, sir. The gun is supposed to be securely attached to the costume. Is that that? The rip itself is my help is that the gun was forcibly removed. Mr. Bad Badger, the gun is, of course, a non-functioning weapon, correct? Absolutely not, sir. It's just a model gun. However, I can fire blanks. We need to use them for the stage show. Mr. Kinnavis has had a need for the model gun, my dear costumed friend. 
Hmm. Interesting. I think we're about done with this room. So what's next? Well, we found a few answers. There's still a few things left we have yet to a certain person about. Let's go, okay. March 13th, 3.34 p.m. Why the best area? Mr. Edward, sir! Hi, Gumshoe. How you been? You gotta hurry, sir. Come on. What is it, detective? I found a blue badger costume in front of the main gate, sir. What? Isn't that one of the kidnapper? Isn't that one? Of, isn't that what one of the kidnappers is wearing? Bigger. That's why you got into the main gate really right now, sir. We here. We might be able to get there before Wolf Boy does, sir. <laughs> All right. Let's make haste to the main gate. Run. To be continued. I'll do. I'll to be continued. You and not do that. March 13th, 3.45 p.m. Kate Wetterland, main gate. Where's this costume I took the gumshoe? Just on the side of the fountain, sir. Oh, hey. It is. Was, is it out here in the open all along? It was discovered in tall grass back there. Move it out here in order to examine it more thoroughly. Let's get down to it. Well, there's uh, something. There's uh, something sticking out of its head. What do we have here? It's a pendant. Wings. That's two treasures in one day. How lucky is that? And hey, this pretty baby's made of platinum silver, too. Another pendant on top of the one we found in Mr. Deacon. It's possible that these two. Uh. Hold it right there. Is that. Yes, it is. It's Wolf Boy. How's it going? Hands off, Mr. Prosecutor. You sort of cross the line, don't you? Ah, uh, a pendant. Huh? This is a very decisive piece of evidence. How can you tell? Look here and read off what you see. Lauren. Hey, it's a name of the grave done this. Oh. I, I... Uh, we have you now, Miss Kidnapper. No, you don't understand. I, I... Oh, well, like, I can't believe you're rid of my kidnappers. Lance! Hmm. You're kidding! Miss Pulp's one of the kidnappers? Yes. It, it was me. I, I held Lance hostage. So Miss Pulp's is one of the kidnappers. But even knowing that, I can't call this case solved or over. Hey, guys, case closed. Get the car ready, and I mean the special one for this young lady. Hold on a second. <laughs> Again, Mr. Prosecutor, what is it this time? Are you proposing that Miss Pulp is also the culprit in the murder case? What happened? I thought Officer Meekins was your suspect. <laughs> we found it. Found what? The officer's gun. He literally dropped it in the middle of a thick patch of grass. Granted, these police are a sham. Just look at how careless they are. Who you call it a sham? The officer's gun didn't show any signs of having been fired, so it can't be the murder weapon. Officer Meekins has been cleared of all charges, I see. That's when a brand new suspect has been walking under the scene. The murder only happened because the kidnappers started fighting amongst themselves. As I recall, as you said that, right, Mr. Prosecutor? Miss Pulps, did you... did you really kill Mr. Deacon? I... yes, I killed him. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> Thanks for the confession. Agent Lang, it's too early to declare this case closed. Look at you, so show yourself. We got the culprit's own confession and some very incriminating evidence. What more could you ask for? Slower and pulps. Y yes I wanna hear it from you. Tell me your side of all that happened today, from the kidnapping to the murder. But why? I I'm a kidnapper and the killer! Isn't that enough? Don't cut your hair, why would you do that? It's fine if everyone pined everything, but only if that's the truth. Now then, will you tell us the truth? Or is there some reason why you can't? I had a change of heart. I think I'd enjoy seeing you sulk away as a losing butt. Alright, you heard me. Let's hear about all the evil deeds you committed today. 
I'm really, I'm just doing you guys a favor. I'm getting this all over with now. Miss Pulp's confession. The one who came up with the kidnapping plan was the butler, Mr. Deacon. He knew that we could get rich by holding Lanch hostage. Mr. Romano would pay everything to get his son back after all. Everything was going according to plan, but as soon as we got the money, Mr. Deacon turned on me and tried to kill me. There, are you satisfied? She just confessed to her crime the second time. At least you have the guts to admit we've done. I don't respect that much. Miss Pulps, is what you said really the truth? I yes, it is. This is the truth. This only isn't the whole truth. There's something that seems a bit too improbable in your confession. Hmm. I would like to hear more about this. What do you think he did? I have no idea, but maybe he planned on doing so from the very beginning. Miss Pulps. Wait, is there taking plan to kill Miss Pulps from the very beginning? Is that ever really likely to happen? What should I do? Raise an objection. I'm sorry, but I don't think what you just claimed is all that likely. Huh? I don't think Mr. Deacon would have ever been capable of killing you. But why? We're total strangers! It's not uncommon for people to kill each other over money. Miss Phelps, you really are clueless, aren't you? W what do you mean? You never knew what your role in the kidnapping was, nor do you know who you really are. But I do, and I can show you with this piece of evidence. This proving Mr. Deacon wouldn't have been able to bring himself to kill Miss Phelps. So, I don't know if it was noticed by you people. I say people if people actually watch this, but they don't. And I know by the fact that I'm saying this, I'm also making it not true because somebody's gonna watch this eventually. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. Anyway. Theoretical you. Anyway, this has Colin DeVry on it. That's his real name. Okay, fine. And there's a pear one that belongs to her and also has a D on the back. Why does it not say plops? If they're a pear, I mean... Take that. Why are you showing this to me? So what about the pendant? This pair of wings along with this piece of evidence shows the, the pegasus and the wings. These two pendants resemble each other, wouldn't you agree? Hey, you're right! The same color, and they're even made of the same material. Who these stupid pendants are actually one? Eh! Should we give it a try? Wow, it's it's totally a Pegasus. But but why? Why does my pendant match up Mr. Deacon's? You're a smart lady. I'm sure you can imagine why that might be. No, that can't be! This is to make a set. <laughs> Just another trinket. None of those just changes anything. <laughs> you like imagination, Ninja Lang. Very well. I'll show you this evidence. This is a piece of evidence that gives meaning to the pegasus pendant. The dossier? Is that how you say that? I don't know. Oliver Deacon was just an al 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 alias for this man. His own name was Colin DeVry. And he was etched on the horse pendant. What? An alias? So he had to hide the fact that he was a felon. Mm somehow in order to live. Makes sense, given we're in Mr. Bry's dossier. But what I really wanted to point out was this. In this section, the real true meaning by independence that he had a daughter! Mr. Bry had one daughter. Her name was Lauren Pulps. That's a lie! The person was not my father! Couldn't have come out and told you he was your father because he was in hiding. However, I believe he was trying to secretly watch over you. You still believe that a man like that could kill the daughter he was separated from? Or even, that such a man would allow his daughter to get involved in a kidnapping plot? Hey, this isn't between you and me. I mean, it is, but not right now. <laughs> what is so funny, Agent Lang? You're good at making, making things up in your head and decide that it's the truth, aren't you? What are you trying to say? You're thinking he's much too innocent. After all, I thought of another possibility. Is that so? Well, let's hear it. Another possibility. 
But granted, the two of them are father and daughter. But isn't it possible that they both knew that fact? It's no coincidence that the reunited pair came involved in the house of Romano. And the two of them made a good pair of their meetings to plan this little kidnapping. When you say that my scenario is perfectly probable as well. So this is a version of how things might have been. You have any proof that either of them didn't know their true relationship, right? I mean, they'd normally been kidnapping his father and daughter. That's right, one really, really rotten family. Is that really what happened? Did they have look at the evidence? I mean, I don't think so, but, uh, well, look. I really don't have evidence for this. Hmm. Possible they need that fact. It's probable, but... Hmm. I don't know. Let's just press a little bit. Precisely. What, what father would ever willingly kill his own daughter? Oops. I'm hitting wrong buttons. There we go. See a lot of things in my travels. I can tell you that being related by blood is not sometimes proof of anything. Hmm. I think they knew. Yeah, I don't think it. only the victim knew. I think the girl realized it as well. They both knew who the other person was, but they had to pretend they didn't. Because he was on the lamb. You got it! The victim just couldn't go around exactly flattening who he was. Furthermore, there's no coincidence. One is a butler and one is the friend of the son, you mean. They probably thought it was their best shot. Is that what you want us to believe? Of course. Made use of their plans. I mean how they plotted to commit this crime as blood relatives. Can you think of a better partner? They're certainly a clever pair. But the butler and the girlfriend. No one ever suspect that they were, in fact, family. Yes, from the very beginning, they painstakingly practiced the rules well. Let me see my scenario is perfectly probable. Mm -hmm. I believe you're being a bit over too overconversant with no evidence. Am I? Because I don't see you presenting evidence to the contrary. Er, that evidence to counter him. Stuck. Huh. Well, there was three kidnappers, actually. Apparently. Though I don't have evidence of that. Yeah, I don't have evidence of that. I don't know what evidence I do have. <laughs> Uh, Badger family. Gunshot wounds. The pendant. I... I don't know. <laughs> hmm.
Maybe. Huh. Maybe the dossier. You know, really, I don't know. I'm not sure. But we'll look into this more next time. So until then. <laughs>